Hello fellow hunters, and welcome back to the channel. If you're looking for guides on all of the 14 weapons from Monster Hunter Wilds, then you're in the right place. This and the other videos in this series are your ultimate guide to each and every weapon. All of the basics, the new moves, the new mechanics, and what you should be doing to get started once Monster Hunter Wilds fully releases in February. I already have a few weapon guides on the channel, and I plan on making guides for each and every weapon. But keep in mind, this game is still only in beta, so some of these things may change. Go ahead and let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these changes, and which weapon you want me to cover next. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more Monster Hunter Wilds content. In today's video, we'll be going over the Heavy Bowgun. The Heavy Bowgun is the big brother to the Light Bowgun. Very similar, but in a lot of ways very different. This weapon acts much more like a tank class, with very little mobility, but what it lacks in movement, it makes up for in raw damage and defense. So if you want to be an unstoppable fortress, capable of dishing out massive amounts of damage, both at range and up close and personal, then this is the weapon for you. The Heavy Bowgun has had a bunch of changes to its core mechanics compared to previous titles. It now has an alternate firing gauge, it's had some UI and ammo changes, it has a new built-in shield, as well as a few new moves to top it all off. Now exactly like the light bowgun, the heavy bowgun uses a very similar base moveset. Holding or toggling left trigger will aim the weapon. Pressing right trigger will fire. You can also hip fire this weapon, but it's not recommended unless you are really close and at point blank range because the recoil is so high with these weapons. Holding right bumper will open the quick menu for selecting your ammo types. And by pressing Y or A, you'll scroll through this list. Ammo types have also been simplified, and all the useful information will be found in the weapons detail menu. For example, all ammo levels, as well as the magazine capacities can be found in here. The Heavy Bowgun has the same reload mechanics as its smaller variant. You can continue to press right trigger after your magazine is empty to automatically reload, or you can manually reload by pressing left trigger and Y. A new feature to the weapon is its intrinsic guard. That means it automatically blocks incoming damage as long as you're not in the middle of an animation. But you can manually activate guard with Y and B at the same time. If done at just the right moment, you can trigger a perfect guard. Building up enough perfect guard damage during a fight can lead to a new semi-cutscene animation called a Power Clash. This is a new tug of war style minigame where you can spam Y in order to win the clash. If you succeed, you will automatically fire some extra shots into the monster before letting off one final devastating shot and stunning and sometimes toppling the monster. The Heavy Bowgun has a new alternate firing mode called Ignition Mode. Similar to the Light Bowgun's Rapid Fire Mode, this will use energy from your ignition gauge. While in this mode, you'll be able to fire in a heavy machine gun-like fashion. The longer you fire for, the more damage you'll do. You can enter this mode by simply just pressing B. You will automatically switch out of ignition mode once your gauge has been depleted, or by pressing B again. And exactly like the light bowgun, this gauge will replenish passively over time, or can be sped up by landing hits on your target. A secondary part of ignition mode is the heavy bowgun's new attack called the wyvern counter ignition. While in ignition mode, pressing Y will have you attach a charged explosive to the end of your gun barrel. Pressing and holding Y will increase the damage of this attack. This ability can also be used as an offset, so timing it just before you're about to be hit will often stun and topple the monster. But things like offset attacks, perfect guards, and mounts have a scaling counter. After the first time you trigger one, it will take more energy to trigger a second time, and even more a third, so keep that in mind. Focus Mode is a new mechanic in Wilds that allows you to not only track the monster more easily by changing the way your camera functions, but it also allows you to see large weak points that have been created called wounds. These will glow bright red, and when broken, do large amounts of damage. Each weapon has a special Focus Mode attack, and the Heavy Bowguns is called Wyvern Howl. While holding down or toggling left trigger, you can press right bumper to load a mini cluster rocket. If you fire this into a wound, it will create a small cluster explosion that can break multiple wounds at once. You can even hold down right bumper to charge this attack for even more damage. You'll be able to hold up to three of these shots at once, and each one will recharge passively over time. Just like all the other weapons, the Heavy Bowgun has a special mounted finisher, 
which can be performed by pressing right bumper after you've mounted the monster and wounded it, causing the hunter to load a massive wyvern howl shot and shooting it into the monster's back in one fantastic explosion. But that is about it for the heavy bowgun, from the basics to all the new moves and mechanics. Let me know down in the comments which change is your favorite, and don't forget to subscribe for more weapon guides from Monster Hunter Wilds coming very, very soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Wolf, out!